Hey there, Aries. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 3rd. This week, you have a, one heck of a week coming in here. Um, the first card you have is the Ace of Hearts, which represents, you know, it's like the best, one of the best love cards in the deck. I wouldn't say the best, but definitely one of the top ones. Uh, represents any problems you have in your life going on right now, going away, um, disappearing in, in some cases, definitely. Although I will have to say, I think if you are having issues, uh, I think they would be based around the home, around your home, relationships around the home, and things like that. So I think that these issues will take a little bit more work. They're not going to just disappear. However, having said that, you know, Ace of Hearts is very supportive. It may, you know, any issues that you do have, they are going to be resolved happily. You know, it'll be, you know, if it's with somebody in your home your spouse or something like that, it will be a, you know, it'll be very supportive and it will be very, you know, a nice way of, of, uh, ending the issues is what I'm trying to say. So if you know, you've been fighting with your spouse or something like that, you'll come to an agreement and, and you'll, you know, that stuff will stop. Maybe there's been a little tension that'll end and, uh, you won't have to worry about it. It's a very loving card too. So again, if you've been fighting with your spouse or something or just somebody in your house, um, you know, there'll be a lot of love, so it's like, it's not going to be that big of a deal, you know, nothing crazy is going to happen. Uh, for those of you that are single, I say it every week, get out there, especially with this card, it's, uh, you know, a card of meeting people, it's a card of new situations, aces bring in new situations across the board, no matter what ace shows up, and you have two aces this week, which is pretty crazy, um, so you have a lot of new stuff coming in. A lot of new energies, uh, a lot of potential for new love. But again, this is a very loving, supportive card. Uh, next, you have the Four of Spades, which again, as I stated, you know, this can rep represent uh, problems in the home, issues in the home. But again, I think they will be resolved. I think that's what it's coming back to. Uh, you know, these problems will be resolved. You you won't have to deal with it. You know, this can be like a little bit of dishonesty in the house you know, between something, even a child or just like a roommate or, you know, somebody, whoever you live with. Uh, but it will be, you know, it will be resolved happily. Again, with that ace, I mean, you know, that pretty much wipes this card right out. Uh, it's almost like if, you know, you've been dealing with dishonesty in your relationship or something along those lines, it's almost like they were doing it to protect you, not hurt you. It's not like a, it's not like a lying about, you know, having a secret love affair or something like that just like lying to protect you in a lot of ways so just know that ahead of time but it will be resolved like i said so this card i almost just don't even want to talk about it because it's just you know it's being totally canceled out by that ace of hearts next you have the ace of clubs which is an even better card i always say this is my favorite card in the deck to possibly get i want to say aries you've been having a lot of aces lately uh, in my reading so you know a lot of new stuff coming in a lot of new situations, a lot of changes. Ace of Clubs, I love this card because it represents abundance in your entire life. It's an abundance card, but it represents abundance coming into all areas of your life, love, money, spirituality, friendships, whatever. Anything that you could possibly think of, there is abundance coming in. And this is a very supportive card, a very strong card. It brings in with it a lot of strength in general, um, strength to get through situations, strength to know what to do. Uh, you know, it represents using your mental powers as well as your intuitive powers, using, you know, your intuition as well as your mind. Um, this week, which you will be doing very strongly because you have the eight of clubs coming up next which rarely comes up this is i always say this is one of the rarest cards to to show up in a reading it represents using your intuition um you know uh using your brain as well um it it represents you know it also represents it's a card that what i'm getting right now is that it's saying that you are on a path but it's saying that you sometimes maybe need to kind of readjust your path. I want to say that you've had this message before, something very similar. It's a card that says, don't be so stuck in your ways. Um, you know, there are other solutions to problems. There are other ways to get where you're going. And it says, you know, look, if you're trying to do something, trying to get into a relationship, trying to start a business, trying to get a job, whatever, it's saying, look for other ways as well. Don't be stuck in one way. 
of, of, of accomplishing your goals. Um, because this card says that there are m many other ways for you to accomplish your goals. And it says to use those ways. The thing about the Ace of Clubs is it is a extremely successful card. Um, it brings with it success and being successful. And it's linked with, uh, it is linked with Jupiter, you know, by the Ten of Diamonds, which is another very successful card. And this card says, you know, um, to look at those other avenues for success and you will be successful this week. So you have an amazing week. Those two aces make it just absolutely amazing. So enjoy it and thank you for watching this video.